wanted to scare Pascal. And Pascal doesn't really like snakes that much anyway. He puts up with it for his viewers. So I took a video, audio video of the rattlesnakes like rattling like crazy. And I put the fake rattlesnakes in our bucket and I put it in the back seat. I played it through the truck speakers. And then I just said, oh, shit. and I slammed on the brake and the bucket went flying. The rattlesnakes came out in Pascal's lap and we got it all on film. So it was, it was hilarious. There was a lot of beeping going on, a lot of cussing. So we're doing a follow up to a trapping setup that we did yesterday. We were doing a collaboration YouTube video with Pascal and the Pascal show. So we caught something and this is what we caught. Customer says it's a groundhog but I don't think it's a groundhog. I think it's more likely a raccoon. However, I will admit if I'm wrong. <clears throat> it's a big old fat possum. <laughs> so this location is getting a lot of heavy armadillo damage. Armadillo is coming in from up there, coming right through the back here, digging up all over right here. Yeah. And I'm guessing they're looking for food? Grubs. They, they're looking for grubs. And they're seeing them, right? They've seen it once. It's happening really early in the morning, like three, four o'clock in the morning. She thought that there was, could be a groundhog or a raccoon. And so we set the tube trap on the very end right there in case it just came around that way and it went into the tube trap first because tube trap seems like a little hidey hole. You know, it seems like a place that's safe and dark. And so animals love to go inside tube traps. That's what makes them so successful. So we were trying to channel it through here, through this trap right here. And then if we could on off chance, catch that one right there. If we don't catch it tonight, I think we're gonna set up some game cameras to see the travel pattern of an armadillo because you can't lure them in the best that you can do with an armadillo is put the trap right in the middle of its travel pattern. And so you just kind of funnel it into the trap. So stupid question. There are no stupid questions. This is gonna be pretty close to one though. Do armadillos like travel in a group or like, is it usually one by itself? So <clears throat> armadillos are very solitary. They, uh, they don't travel in groups and the males fight each other and the females have nothing to do with the males except Hey, Linda, it's Michael Buran. So um, if we don't catch him tonight, then we're gonna put some game cameras up and see if we can't figure out his travel pattern. Your friendly groundhog? Yeah. Oh, no. oh, it's, a, it's a male possum. You wanna pet him? Sure. No? Michael. I'm just asking, just making sure. We typically translocate possums because, uh, well, they're not bad, but they do get into stuff. But we'll we'll take him. We've got a place that's about 22 miles away, and uh, that way he he won't come back here. No. So you don't want to see Godiva then, huh? The snake we have in the truck. No, I'm gonna take that as a no. What kind of snake do you have in the truck? She's a red-tailed boa. You want to see her? We do have. I don't want to touch it. I'm just gonna show. I'm not gonna scare anybody. No. This is a red-tailed boa, and she's what's called an IMG which is increasing melon. And so every time she sheds, she gets blacker. No, you want to touch her? They don't bite, they just um, squeeze land. Oh my goodness. All right, thank you. Thank you. You, you have a great day. Bye-bye. So we set this account up with Pascal the other day. And I really think he thought I was a little bit crazy about how I set this up. But the customer called us and we've got an armadillo and check this out. Not only do we have an arm armadillo, Whoa. but that is a big old armadillo. So this cage is 11 inches by nine inches, and that armadillo fills up that, that cage pretty well. Is this like one of the biggest ones you've seen? <laughs> In Missouri, yeah. It seems ginormous. It is pretty big. Ouch. I hate it when the triggers hair trigger like that. How holding an armadillo from the tail? Um, when it's wet, 
you can't you cannot hang on to an armadillo they are not only are they strong but they are slicker than you think that was something. you like that is that it's poop in there yeah that is armadillo poop so I'm betting that that's a female armadillo. So if there's a male armadillo around here, he's gonna smell her in there. And one of the best ways to catch an armadillo is with a seasoned or pooped in armadillo trap. Yep, it's a female, see? Yeah. Well, if people are having armadillo problems, who should they call? Yeah, if anyone has an armadillo problem, they should definitely call me because we can catch it. Now, I have had over a thousand armadillos captured. I'm pretty sure it's closer to 2,000 because I started my wildlife career in Louisiana where we caught armadillos every single day because there's just a lot of armadillos in Louisiana. So release days are pretty special for me. You know, homeowners have problems. I provide a solution. Animals is bothering a homeowner. I capture the animal, but release days are pretty special to me because it's kind of bringing me full circle. I get to release these animals in different locations where they won't bother humans anymore. Today is especially uh, special because we're at the Renaissance Fair and we've got all of this land out here with no homes anywhere around it and we're going to release this big female armadillo somewhere where she can be just free to roam and not bother anybody. Now, is there any like laws regarding releases with armadillos in Missouri? So in Missouri, there's just one rule that you have to pay attention to really. And that is that you have written permission from the landowner, which <laughs> we have written permission to release squirrels on this property. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's in but, paperwork. <laughs> but it doesn't really say squirrels. It just says animal. So I'll hold up in court. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Another successful release of an animal that has nearly no zoonotics. And so she's going to be pretty happy. She'll find a nice place. There are other armadillos out here. I've seen them. So she'll find a boyfriend next spring and she'll have four identical twins. We can talk about that later. The March of the Armadillos. Uh, follow the link down below to an old article we did. Um, there are armadillos moving into the St. Louis area. Every year we're seeing more and more armadillos. Uh, on this particular account, you know, I went back to the account and sure enough, we caught a male armadillo. I had said, female armadillo, leave the trap set, a male armadillo will come along because they follow those scent trails. Not only do they follow the scent trails to know where to go and where to feed, but the males always follow the females around because female goes into heat, he wants to be available, bam, he knows exactly where she's at. The reason why armadillos are able to overwinter in St. Louis right now is because we are developing subdivisions. We're hauling topsoil in. They can dig down six feet or so and get below the freeze line and they can survive the winter. An armadillo has no body fat, zero, no body fat. They don't store body fat because they're from the south, they don't need it. And so the armadillos we have in St. Louis are adapting to the cold weather and very successfully, I might add. Hey, thanks for watching. And listen, I answer every single question down in the comments. So leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And see you next time. Do you want to tell them your interaction that you had with that guy earlier today that you posted oh, about? Yeah, we can. <laughs> if my dress looks a little unusual, it's because we handle the petting zoo at the St. Louis Renaissance Fair every year. And this morning I was in the QT and I was getting some donuts and an energy drink and I saw this guy giving me the serious stink eye. I mean, he was just looking at me like that, watching me. 
we both ended up at the counter at QT at the same time. He was on one side, I was on the other. And uh, he said something just about loud enough for me to hear it. He goes, still playing games in your mom's basement? And I was so flabbergasted that I couldn't think of anything clever to say, so I just kind of stared at him until he went away. But I'll have you know, I run a successful business. Big one, too. <laughs> just likes dressing up. Huh? Just likes dressing up. I just like to dress up. Hey, yesterday it was taken away from me because I had to dress up as myself at the Comic-Con, you know? <laughs> I had to dress up as Bear Hands Baran from Bear Hands Rescue. Well, you know what needs to happen? You get to put this on. You just need to make this your everyday wardrobe, and then you can dress that way. <laughs> then, then dressing up as Bear Hands Baran will be special, right? <laughs> Everyone has to dress up like Renaissance Day is every day at the office. Exactly. <laughs>